Namaste and a very, very good morning to all of you. I welcome you to my channel, The Outlet. My name is Mithun. In today's video, I'll be talking about how do we replace missing values in IBM SPSS. I'll repeat, how do we replace missing values using IBM SPSS? But even before I proceed to demonstrate how replace missing values works in SPSS, may I request all of you to like, share, subscribe, and press the bell icon. As you can see here, this is IBM SPSS. There are two columns in this particular data set. The first column is ID, employee ID, and the second column is salary. So I've got employee ID as well as salary. Let me look at the sample size in this particular data set. As you can see here, I've got 474 employees working in this organization. So the sample size in this data set is 474. What I want to do is I want to replace missing values in the column salary. This is a two-step process. Even before I go ahead and replace missing values, the most important question is how do we detect for the presence of missing cases? When you have a large data set, it becomes a bit difficult to identify whether or not we have missing cases. This is where we can use a simple trick to identify if the data set has missing cases. What is this trick? We can select this particular column, right click and simply say sort ascending. I'll repeat, I have selected the column salary. I have right clicked and I'm going to choose the option which says sort ascending. The moment I choose the option sort ascending, what SPSS does is SPSS sorts the variable salary based on the ascending order. And as you can see here, all the missing cases appear right in the beginning. So when you manually inspect for missing cases, you can see here, there are six missing cases in this particular data set. So, so this is a very, very easy, very simple way to identify the number of missing cases in this particular data set, which is to simply select that particular column and right click and choose the number of missing cases. What is the second way to identify the number of missing cases? The second method to identify how many missing cases your data set has is through the frequency option. Let me show you the second way to identify how many missing cases are there in the data set. I'll go to the analyze menu. The second option here is what is called as descriptive statistics. Within this descriptive statistics, the very first item here is what is called as frequencies. Let me choose the option frequencies. A new dialog box called as the frequency dialog box opens up. You can see here in the canvas of the left hand side, SPSS displays two variables employee code and current salary. I will choose current salary along the variables list. I don't need to do anything here. Once I choose the variable current salary, all that I need to do is click on the option OK for frequency table. You can see here, right at the top, there is a statistics table. And in the frequency table, you can see there are 468 valid cases and the number of missing cases is displayed as six. So in this particular data set, we have six missing cases and 468 non-missing cases. If you want to look at the corresponding percentage of missing cases, you might want to inspect the second table. Let me scroll down. When I scroll down, you can see here, right at the bottom of this particular table, you can see, you can see here, SPSS displays the system missing cases. Let me just do this once again. System missing cases is six. 
the percentage here is also shown here 1.3 percent of the data 1.3 percent of the records in the data set are missing in this particular example so we have done the first part which is to identify how many missing cases are there in the data set now once we have identified the presence of missing cases what is the second action that we can take the second step would be to impute wherever you have missing cases wherever we have a missing case we can replace it with the series mean how do we do this in spss to do this let me go to the transform menu in the transform menu you can see here there are a lot of options but when i look at this particular option it says replace missing values i will be choosing this particular option which says replace missing values once i choose the option replace missing values a new dialog box pops up it is expecting me to enter the variable which has missing cases in my data set the variable current salary has missing cases so as you can see here the method of imputation would be series mean what spss does is it takes the mean of the non missing cases and once it finds out the mean of the non missing cases it is going to impute that particular value against each cell where you have a missing case so that's why we see here the default method of imputation is series mean when you click on the drop down menu here you can see here there are other options as well like mean of the nearby points median of the nearby points linear interpolation linear trend at point now i'll be choosing the default option which is series mean spss will create a new variable which is called as salary underscore one next to the variable salary which will have no missing cases so let me go ahead and impute for this particular variable i'll go ahead and click on okay you can see here there is a summary table here which says that n or number of replaced missing values is 6 so the function which was used to replace missing cases was the series mean let me go back to the data editor window and you can see here the first 6 cases where you had missing cases spss has imputed the average value that is dollar 34492.4 as a approximate value for salary for the 17th individual 20th individual 25th 466 and 470th employee so these employees salary has been imputed as 34492 we are not saying that this is the exact value we are saying that this is a approximate value now instead of using the original variable i can go ahead with the new variable namely salary underscore one and run any analysis that i want so this is how replace missing values works wherever you have a blank entry or a system missing case spss imputes the mean of that particular column when you look at the non missing cases spss does not disturb the non missing cases the non missing cases will be entered as it is so this is how replace missing cases works in spss with this i have come to the end of today's video i thank you very much for watching this particular video i once again request you to like share subscribe this particular video thank you very much have a great day